give me a second. Oh, yeah, now it is. Okay, so, um, uh, I know yesterday I said that Modern Combat Domination, um, was going to come out today. Um, I did record it, and, uh, it turned out to be a little longer of a file than I wanted it to be. So, uh, that's not going to come out today, because I don't have the time to upload it. Instead, I'm going to be making this tutorial video on mods for Minecraft 1.5 on OS X Mountain Lion. Um, sorry PC users. Um, I, do, I just, I can't help you there, I don't own a PC, so. But, uh, what you're going to want to do is, uh, see, you're going to want to have a dedicated mods folder. So these are the mods I've already put in. And this is my mod that I'm going to put in today, uh, single player commands. Now, I'm not sure what to do with World Edit yet. You're going to have to brace yourself for that part of the video. But what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open up, and I'm actually going to go to the desktop. You're going to want to open up uh, Finder, and uh, it should bring you to probably all my files. This is what it's going to open it up to. And uh, when you're here, you're going to want to go to Go, and you're going to want to hold down Option, or um, I think it's Alt as well, and uh, you'll see this thing pop up, Library. Um, when you see it, you can make a, a shortcut for it, like I have already, so I'm just going to go to the shortcut. Um, and while you're here, sorry, I'm moving my recorder over. Um, while you're here, you're going to go ahead and click... Application support. I'm actually going to put it in this view because this is what people are used to. And from application support, you want to go to Minecraft. And from my wow, Windows is sending me emails. That's ironic. Um, and uh, you want to go to bin. And this is your. Um, okay, let me go back real quick. This is all of your Minecraft game. This is your um, your mods. Your if you have a server, I, this, like right here, this is all my server stuff. Too many items runs in here. Um, texture packs, saves, resources, all that stuff. Crash reports, they all get put into that folder, into that main area. Um, this is my original Minecraft jar. When you open this up, there should be, I think it's from here to here. These are the files that are going to be there. Um, and this is going to say uh, Minecraft.jar. What I would do is I would duplicate it and make this one my, the original Minecraft. So this is what I did. This is my duplicate of it. What you're going to do with the duplicate, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this, um, is you're going to want to open it with the Unarchiver. Um, it's a third-party application from the App Store. It's completely free, so there's no reason not to get it. Um, and you're going to want to open it. And the first time you open anything with the Unarchiver in a certain place, it'll ask you where to export files from that folder to. Um, all of my bin files get exported to the bin, so that's why it just immediately immediately came back here, and that's what I would recommend doing, so you don't have to go searching for them later. Um, so this is the Minecraft dot jar in a folder, and inside you're gonna see all these files, and you're not gonna have to mess with any of them. Um, this is just what makes the Minecraft what makes Minecraft work basically. Now there are two things you can do here. You can arrange it by kind, which the folders will come up first if you do that. Or what I like to do so I don't have to fiddle around that much is just go to M. And here you'll find the meta INF. Um, you're gonna want to go ahead and or meta infinite I think is what it is. You're gonna want to get rid of that. And what that does is that just um lets you put mods. That's what's stopping you from putting mods onto the game. So I'm going to go ahead and make this half a screen. Oh, maybe not. I'll just, um, I'll do this. I don't understand how that was better. Okay, whatever. Um, so that is, let me move this over that way. Okay, so I already did it. This is my Minecraft.jar that has some mods already in it. If I go to the top... Sorry. Okay, so if I go all the way to the top, you'll see I've got some items in here, or some uh, classes in here that are not the same as what you might have. Those are my too many items classes, and Mod Loader has also replaced a couple. So Now here's what I was fuzzy on. 
Um, when I first downloaded this, I don't remember what I did. And I think this would give me somewhat of a tutorial on it. Um, install instructions. Let's go to section three. So, um, on the meta... Okay. Copy the com directory uh, within the mod to Minecraft.jar. Okay. Um, and uh, copy all the .jar files. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, all the .jar files. So I guess it would be these. So what we're going to do is uh, take, we're going to, so this is already opened up. We're going to go ahead and copy this, the com folder, and we're going to repeat, we're going to paste it in, sorry, I don't think I paste. We're going to paste it in here and replace. Um, and then we're going to go here. And from my, from what I read, we're just going to move these in here. Uh, this might be wrong, but now before you do anything, and I'm I'm hoping I forgot to say this earlier, make copies of your dot jar. That way you don't have to um, reboot Minecraft and re-download all the packages. You can just start from a fresh copy. Before you do anything, consult that first. Now. What we're going to do now is we're going to test Minecraft. So you cannot have this folder open when you start Minecraft. It bugs out when you do that. I don't know why it does, but whatever. It doesn't like you playing with the files while it's running, I guess. You're going to go ahead and start Minecraft. So we're going to go ahead and just start it. And looks like we ran into a problem. Looks like Minecraft has crashed. So let me go ahead and take these two and just put them in there and now we'll see if it runs I was I thought that the class I guess would be okay sitting outside but it's not alright so now it's working and I guess we'll go ahead and we'll open up the YouTube world ah that was a little bit of lag and yes okay so good single player command is now working so um, yeah, so I have all this stuff, uh, that you can do. I'd totally recommend this mod, just because it has World Edit 2, uh, or it has World Edit on it, sorry. Um, but, I mean, just look at that. Boom. And then you can bind certain commands to certain keys, so if I want to bind, uh, I think it's J, jump to, yeah, so now you can, uh, I can just click J, and poof, I'm over there. So, um, I might, um, I'm not going to use these in the Minecraft Let's Plays, because I don't want to cheat, but I may start a Modders Let's Play, and, uh, we can use these, too. I normally don't have that menu open, but we can use these, too, if we want. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and go inside before I alter this world completely. I want to keep it fresh for where we left off in the midst of Sunset. Um, but yeah, that is it. And then, um, one thing I guess I should touch back up on. So, when you make the copy of the Minecraft, you're going to want to make sure whatever folder that you put the mods in is the Minecraft.jar. Um, you could compress the folder and make it into a .zip, and then just turn the .zip into a .jar and rename it Minecraft.jar. That's okay, but I like to keep it as a folder, that way if I do need to put mods into it, I don't have to unarchive it and then just, you know, have another folder. I, it's one folder, I can just pour mods into it if I need to. Um, so hopefully that helped people. Um, it made sense in my mind, I'm not sure how that appeared on the screen or how other people are seeing this video, but... Um, Hopefully that helped. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them. Um, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, definitely hit that like if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And stay classy, YouTube.